Yep. What an upgrade. What an upgrade. And we got the new HD grapple, so kind of excited about that. We're gonna check it out. It's got a it's got a much larger hydraulic tube on it, so it's it's got a lot more power. This has two speeds, does 14 miles an hour. It looks wild. That thing is flying. That thing is Good Lord. definitely looks like you could hurt yourself with it pretty quick. The two speeds is gonna be so nice on those long runs where you, you know the truck way up there. It's gonna be nice. Uh, sorry, I'm a little hoarse. We uh, we went out last night and uh, there was a lot of. Let's go, Brandon! So um, I, I'm surprised I still have her voice. Let's go, Brandon! Brandon. Brandon. Y'all know what the saying no, means. After walking all over the show, Corey and I met up with the guys from Rant Rack, decided we'd like to see if a 23 fits in the back of a regular pickup truck. It was all Corey's idea. We are loading up the cast loader on the Ramp Rack 200 model. Right now we're offering a 20% discount. Oh, it died. fits and it would fit inside the bed frame it wouldn't even be resting on your dove yeah uh, set up which, which we do I mean you're perfectly fine right there because we try to say past the last support right here yeah is best to keep your tires in front of that now you can come the whole way back it gives you three more feet so you can turn a eight foot bed into an 11 foot yeah so right on it looks pretty uh, looks pretty neat up here but even where you're parked now, I mean, you have 12 inches or more you could go up, but you're still within yeah. the safe range for where your back tires are. Yeah, if she was backed in, she'd be perfect. She would be perfect. You would have to go up about three inches, though, to put the, the ramp back up. Cool. Uh, the flatbed system is going to be perfect for these. Yeah. I mean, this is a pickup truck, and the flatbed system is going to be solid, man. And I mean, depending on how much room you have on the sides of your flatbed, you could even put an attachment on the side and yeah. then you back off and then you use your machine to pick your attachments back off. Yeah, a little rail If attachment. you needed more than one, you know. Well, cool deal, man. I'm going to go ahead and get this off of here and get it out of your hair. Oh, no problem. <laughs>
don't need to film kind of like a final piece. Hope you've enjoyed your, your time with us. I had a great time. I appreciate everyone inviting me out to film again. I, I love coming out here to see Harry and Dustin. And it was it would be awesome if Marco and Felipe were here this year. Um, we miss you guys, Dan and Russ. And it would it would uh, it would have been really cool to, to hang out with everyone again. But I think COVID restrictions have really put a, a hamper on the, the guys from the UK and, and everyone from Italy. So we're getting ready to pack up and, and get on the road because we, we got 13 hour drive ahead of us. But uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of our new machine. This is the one that I'm sitting on. We're on a 33 carbon. I can't wait to get it to work Monday. Um, it's gonna be nice to operate this new machine. It's, it's got a couple things that my machine doesn't have. I have a 23 back home. It, uh, it only picks up about 1,500 pounds. This will pick up 2,500 pounds. Uh, it's got a little bit bigger weight kit. It's got all-wheel drive instead of like a, a three-wheel drive with a diff lock. This is an all-wheel drive with a diff lock. Um, they got the new diff lock on the, uh, the button on the, on the joystick now instead of having the switch that just locks because sometimes you forget about the switch and you'll throw a fuse or you'll heat up the hydraulics really bad. You know, it's hydrostatic driven just like you know, it's articulating mini loaders. Um, it's got the same standard American hydraulics that all the other units have, but it's the carbon version comes with heat, it comes with uh, heated seat, 14-inch um, turf tires, 14-inch wide turf tires, they're like 33s, are not as heavy on the, the turf and it keep it very stable and you're, you're not very tippy at all. So we got some really good feedback from a few customers that said that you know they, they they bought other brands that that had a lot of plastic on them and for the tree industry that's just like you can't you can't have something that's not durable in the tree industry it just it'll it's pretty much trash so a lot of these other machines you know and here at gie they're pretty much repurposed they're they're not made for our specific market like we we been lucky with when we started with cast they they worked with us from the get-go the machine has gotten better and better and better and better and it's nice that we're bringing such a quality product to the show uh. i'm just rambling i always enjoy coming out and making films for you guys i hope that everyone enjoys this one um but it's time to leave baby. That thing is flying. Got the new unit on the trailer. Yeah. Oh. I, I could already tell that uh, the torque is so different. It went up the trailer like it was nothing. Like, I can't wait to make some, some content with this thing and see what it can really do. So we'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.